Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to explore our finger exercises with the right hand and the left hand using the C major scale, okay? For fingering using the C major scale, we use your thumb, index, and middle finger to play C, D, and E. So we're going to call one, two, three fingers. Your finger numbers are one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we're going to use one, two, and three to play C, D, and E. This is middle C. Okay, we're going to use one, two, three fingers. Okay. Then, after playing E, we need to move up to F, G, A, B, C. We're not going to use our fourth and, fing and fifth finger. We're going to use one, two, three from C, D, E. We're going to pivot our thumb under. Play your one again on F, and then you can proceed one, two, three, four, and then you use your pinky to play the octave of C. Okay, so that's how you uh, use your fingering to play one octave of C major scale. In the beginning, it might be confusing pivoting your thumb under, but just think about it as groups one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So there's a group of three. You can play them together at the same time if you want to, just to get that feel. Then play one, two, three, four, starting with F, G, and A. And then use your five on that high treble C. Okay, again. Make sure that your cur your fingers are curled like this when touching the piano, on the surface of the piano. Just drop your fingers one at a time as you play each finger going up, okay? So thumb, index, middle, thumb under, index, middle, fourth finger, fifth finger. Now we're gonna try that in reverse now. Now we start with our pinky on that treble C, the higher C. C, that's five, and then think about finger numbers now. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's the first group. And then, as you guess, pivot over, not under, right? Can't do that. So over your third finger to play E because that's a group three, two, one. Okay, so again, from the top E, C. Five finger, four, three, two, one. That's kind of easy. Just think of five, four, three, two, one. That's it, okay? And then third finger over to E. And then this is now the group of three, two, one. Three, two, one. So let's try it again from the, stop, from the top. C, D, E, one, two, three. F, G, A, B, C. That's one, two, three, four, five finger. Then going in reverse, downwards, just think of five, four, three, two, one. And you ran out of fingers now, so you pivot over your three fingers because this is a group of three, two, one. So three, two, one. Let's try it straight. Next is the left hand. We're gonna apply the same concept on the left hand. Finger number one is still the thumb, okay? It's just a mirror image of your right hand. So one, two, three, four, and five, okay? Now we start on middle C again, but this time we're going to the left side. Fingers number one, two, three. But notice the, the pitch, it's going down. Lower, okay? On the right hand is going up. On the left hand is going down. One, two, three, that's C, D, A. Now we apply the same concept. Now we use only one, two, three fingers and then pivot under. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, do that again. One, two, three, pivot under. One, two, three, four, five. For the notes, if you're curious what, it is, what those notes are, you should know it, okay, by now. So it's a C, B, A. Pivot under, that's G, F, E, D, C. Okay, let's go straight without stopping. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Now 
Now going up, uh, think about your finger numbers again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pivot over, not under. You can't do that. So four, three, two, one. Groups. Five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now to get used to that groups, you can practice playing all the, the notes, all the fingers. Group of five, or that's actually group of four, should be group of four. You just add your pinky. So that's five, four, three, two, one. And then a group of three fingers. Group of four and five. Group of three. There, okay? So create that uh, muscle memory for this. Left hand is more, uh, you have to focus more on your left hand if you're right-handed, okay? So again, five, four, three, two, one. You can pause, we're just practicing, no pressure at all. And then pivot over, three, two, one. Again, five, four, can stop no one is forcing you to go straight because you're just practicing still all right so five four three two one stop that's a group of five or four and plus five and then group of three three two one let's try it now if you can if you were able to practice that let's try it straight five four three two one three Okay, try that when you're confident already. Now going down, go, going down, I mean, uh, up the fingers, but going down physically with the pitch. That's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. There you go. Now when you get used to that, we're going to practice both hands now, okay? We start here on middle C, both thumbs will share middle C. So we, we start with three fingers, group of three. One, two, three. Just that, okay? Don't move forward yet. Just build the muscle memory on this. Let's get used to this. Thumbs, share middle C. So that's just one note, but two fingers, okay? And then one, that's one finger. And then second finger will play these notes beside middle C, left and right. Two, and then three. So it's going up and down. used to that okay now once you get used to that third finger is on E on the right hand and A on the left hand we pivot under your thumbs okay we play these notes and now we start on the new group one two three four okay so one two three new group pivot under one F right hand G on left hand so one but think about finger numbers one two three four and both C's five let's try that again one two three take a break think about it pivot under one two three four and five there you go reverse pattern we start here on a, a treble C and the bass C. So five, think about five, uh, five, four, three, two, one fingers, both hands. So five, four, three, two, one. You can take a break. You can pause there, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. And over. Group of three. Three, two, one. Let's try that again. Start from the treble C and the bass C with both pinkies. And think about finger numbers. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Then three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now let's try that. If you're confident already, let's try that without stopping. Five, four, three, two, one, three. Okay, now last we're gonna go up and go down with both hands. Okay, we start here, 
Ready? And one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Okay, so this exercise involves middle C position, okay? Now, there are other exercises later on on the next video. We'll try to explore same hands going up. Both hands going up, I mean. So this is where the challenge is because your right hand is playing group of one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. Your left hand simultaneously plays five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Now, if you play them together, we're playing both notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, but the fingerings are different. For the watch how I play my right hand and my left hand. See that? So that's the basic uh, beginner challenge all the time. Those hands, those fingers, I mean those fingers. How do we play those together without, you know, stumbling? So that's on the next video. Well, that's coming up. So good luck with your piano journey and I'll see you in the next one.